Hello everyone! In today's video, I show you how to beautify your chairs. Originally, this was an old wooden chair from my grandma, but with the help of some color and lace, I transformed this chair into an actually good looking thing to sit on. So, here are the before pictures and the after version. So, I hope you enjoy this DIY and let's get started! <laughs> For the materials, you of course need an old random chair to beautify. Best made of wood because it's easy material for the color to stick on. And then you need a ribbon of lace, optionally some chandelier crystals and a nylon thread. Then you also need a container and a color, the color you want to use of course. <laughs> and then you also need some sandpaper, scissors and a glue and a brush. So first clean your chair, it has to be absolutely lint free and dirt free <laughs> and just make sure it's clean. And next you take your sandpaper or a sandpaper sponge to eliminate any unevenness or bumps because this chair has lots of paint splatters on its surface. Or if the color is crumbling I would suggest to amorize the entire color off. Anyways you just need a um, smooth surface. And afterwards you grab your brush, paint roller or sponge or whatever you prefer and fill the color into a little container and simply store drawing. And I used a white gloss enamel, just use a color that fits to the surface of your chair. And laying some newspaper on your chair or simply doing everything outside prevents you from making a mess, believe me. <laughs> and uh, don't forget to paint the back, although no one is ever going to see it. <laughs> and yeah, this is how the chair should look after the first coat. And so and here are some painting tips. Paint evenly and only a thin coat at a time to guarantee a sea surface and always wait some time between the coats to dry and here you can just see me painting in different angles. <laughs> I guess I've painted the chair for about three times but of course always depends on the opacity of your color. So now to the lace porch. You need a thicker and a thinner lace ribbon if you have two rails and you need about 20 inches and then measure out the top rail and mark it at the middle with a not really noticeable pen on the left side and on the right side as a guideline and then apply some glue at the upper part of the lace and then stick it onto the top rail by orientating yourself on the lines we drew on before. <laughs> then apply the glue under the lace ribbon and spread it with a brush and of course you need to wash the brush afterwards otherwise it's ruined. <laughs> And then you can press the ribbon onto the rail and afterwards you can cut off the excess. I repeated this step with the thinner lace ribbon at the middle rail. <laughs> and my original plan was actually to stock on some crystals. And I got this from my chandelier spare parts store. <laughs> and yeah, you can simply attach them onto a chair by knotting it into the lace with a nylon thread. And I tried out some different options, but in the end I just left it out because I preferred it without. And the last step, I bought a beige seat cushion to achieve a comfy seating area. And that's everything I did to my chair. <laughs> and here again, some before pictures. I didn't really like these chairs because they were way too colorful for me. And I wanted them to be more classy and spell fitting into my room. And I'm happy with the results. So I hope you enjoyed this video as always. And please subscribe to my channel or give a thumbs up because I also have a new microphone as you may probably hear. I'm really lucky about that because you're finally able to understand me. And yeah, check out my social media like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Tumblr and my previous videos. Thanks for watching everyone and goodbye.